Saltwater Lake replacing Diddy Kong Racing Ancient Lake and then Pinewood Path replacing Donut Plains 1 from Super Mario Kart. What's up, Van Alker? Wait. How's the, uh, how's the capture card audio? Is it too quiet? Let me actually turn up a smidge just in case. Anyway, um, after we go through the tracks, I will go on to CT Worldwide's. Then we have, a. Uh, ZPL's Mario Kart 8 inspired SNES Rainbow Road getting in as an update. Sky High Island is updated. Alongside DSDK Pass, SNES Choco Island 2, Onic Gardens, and um... Well, wait, that's it. <laughs> Honestly, yes, I agree with you, Purple, but... <laughs> There's probably a reason, at least, for Diddy Kong Racing Ancient Lake. Right, I don't know what's with the loop points of a... ...the Rebel Car. Anyway, going in alphabetical order will be... ...I believe Dark Matter Fortress first. I believe I played this in JHFR or something because I know it's from I know I played it way before it got in Also, I would have used version 3 of my music pack for this but uh since Michael updated his pack I figured I'd test it So yeah, anyone recognize Super Mario Galaxy nostalgia? And it is a bit of an early stream for me, but uh, since we got stuff going on... There actually is a little bit of an expert shortcut right up there, as you can see, but uh, I don't think I can pull it off right now. Yeah, but I probably am not going to do too well on this track for the first time on CT Worldwide. Oh, Michael, thanks for the host, and what's up, Cyber? To get those of you up to speed that are just tuning in, we are currently doing a run-through of the latest additions to CGP. Unfortunately, the removals are utter bullcrap. Although, I don't know why there's a chain chomp in this level when there originally wasn't one. Right, so that was Dark Matter Fortress, which is a Bowser's Dark Matter Reactor or something. From Galaxy 1. I don't exactly know off the top of my head what the context is. Right, so after that we have DSDK Pass, though people were Apparently being weird in it, complaining about it. Yudo, thanks for the host. Holy moly. We got a host train coming on in here. Right, let's find the... Oh, I... Yep, there it is. If anyone wants to join my Discord server, you're more than welcome to. I think this is also a ZPL remake. Based off the Mario Kart 7 one, if I'm not mistaken. That's an interesting song for this track. Well, for DK Summit, I should say. Nice try. Now, there's one thing that I find weird personally 
that I, when I was watching the review stream said there's no trees here. Unfortunately, for April, there wasn't a track update due to the fact that there was a whole security thing that had to be taken care of. And I'll be saving time trials of these tracks for another time. What's up, Frankie? Apart from the ceiling. Right. Let's see. Alphabetically, we um, go to... Oh! Haunted Gardens, which I think is just a bug fix. But I'll showcase it anyway. Oh, let me guess. The kids are over. Let me just clarify that it's a uh, haunted gardens. Yeah, it is. I don't know why, but uh, not to call out any names in chat if they were part of it, but people were complaining about this track getting updated and wanted it removed. Like, uh, oh, and one of the older Haunted Woods. Like, honestly, I beg to differ, but that's just me. Because this technically is the same track in a way, but without the uh, broken un without the broken shortcut that you can only do with the Star and the Golden or whatever. Pretty much, but, uh, you know what, I respect that opinion, but sometimes, uh, tracks of that sort. You might TTMK7 soon? Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> regarding the whole garbage track thing, what, I think I lost my train of thought there, but, honestly, garbage tracks get too old and will need to be updated anyway. So, Haunted Woods being a perfect example of that. Transparent shop texture, apparently. Oh my. No, unfortunately, I have to redo my time trial on this track later on. A ghost shop, yeah. Oh my god, the piranha plant. And hopefully in TT Worldwide, some people will be able to help pick the newer tracks. Alright, that was Haunted Gardens. Now we're on to... Let me actually check this site here. Um, I think it's Saltwater... Yeah, it is. Salt... No, not Saltwater. Like Pinewood Path. I know there's one track in this update where apparently it's faster just wheeling in a certain section of the track. Like for a little ramp or something, which honestly doesn't make sense. Or at least that's what the expert group ghost was. I think it was Pinewood Path, but I am honestly not certain. Don't trap me. But now I just need to find it. Oop, I think I... Ah, here it is. Honestly, I can't recall if I've played this track before, but if I did, it was either in JHFR or Hack Pack. Most likely Hack Pack, if anything. Same with Saltwater Lake. I can tell you for sure Dark Matter Fortress was JHFR. Uh, 
Now this track looks interesting. So for possibly a first impression? I'm thinking that one what in my future showcases of a CHP up in Samurai 2 24 player style. And apparently we're inside a volcano now? Oof. Oh, it, I almost forgot to mention that <laughs> if a uh, Malaya mode comes up on a DT World Lights later, then. Yeah, I think it was this. What the heck is that? Is that some sort of haystack or something? Oh, and this one's a two lapper. Okay, then that was that. I believe Saltwater Lake is next. Yeah, it is. Then it'll be a sky high than the SNES tracks. I may actually put out word about the stream to a couple more servers. Oh yeah, definitely. De it is basically Market 8 Deluxe vibes in a nutshell. Or slash Wii U for anyone who plays Wii U, like I know someone who does. Now this is interesting. Ah, uh, DK Jungle Parkway music. Ah, oh, this is a Yoshi Falls reference here. You know what? I honestly have to agree with you there. Maybe at least five laps, but uh, I don't think Bean will do that. So you know what? Since this is a bit of a shorter track, I'll do one more lap. Heck, I, I imagine that the 200cc best known time is probably going to be at least under a minute. Not to mention that doesn't look like there's any off-road shortcuts. I could be wrong. Right now for Sky High Island. Yeah, Purple, you want to start a CT Worldwide from once I'm done with the showcase? There was a shortcut at the start after the cave? Oh, what's up, uh, Blaze? Is okay? Welcome to the live stream. I'll have to look at that after. Maybe it was a saltwater lake that I was thinking of where you just really, for some reason, that seems to be faster. Or at least according to an expert ghost on one of the tracks. It was either that one or Pinewood. Wait, so if anything, this is probably just another bug fix as well. And as usual, the showcase will be up on my YouTube channel tomorrow. What music slot does this track have again? Someone remind me. 
a few visual changes. Well, let's see if I can spot them. Don't spoil them, please. Looks like the sky might be visually changed, but then again, I'm on a Wii U. So... You think it's Koopa Cape? Oh, okay. Yeah, looks like the quality of a Mario Kart 8 track, to be honest. Or that's just me. Maybe it's because of the fact that I happen to be playing off of Wii U as well, like I said. Okay, I don't really s you know what, now that I think about it, I don't really see anything. Yet. Unless you count this section here, probably. With the rain to Eevee. Yeah, what, what's, where are the visuals at? I actually, I might be wrong on the fact that it's probably the sky. At least from what I can tell. Less tricks, eh? Oh! I don't remember seeing that before. Unless I didn't notice it last time. Or last time I played that track. Which... To be honest, it is entirely possible. Oh, l different lighting. Well, anyway, now we have, um, in regards to SNES tracks. Choco Island 2, then what I like to call Overrated Road, aka Snez Rainbow. Which now doesn't have a number 4 at the end of it. Thankfully. I know there's a rather interesting wall shortcut literally right before the line on this track. I'll see if I can pull it off. Probably not going to be able to, but I, I will give it a go. Why does this have block plaza music? Oh no, Battle Course 4 music. Excuse me. Seems to be less ramps now. Er, never mind, I happen to be in trick about that. Oh, never mind, I missed the shortcut. You know what, I'll do one more lap on this one since it's short. Well, uh, here's the thing. In the original, this was five laps. Yeah, very friendly indeed. Up. Oh. Couldn't pull it off. Alright, now for uh, Mario Kart 8 vibes, if anyone knows what I mean. Well, also somewhat Mario Kart 7, since it's a similar scenario for that, but kind of different. Yeah, though I will admit, downloading the update was very difficult yesterday since so many people were downloading it at once, it basically caused the server to go sus. Right, I actually did a test run of this yesterday, uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, shout out to ZPL for this, and I believe uh, 
someone else as well. I forget who. The Bearbly, maybe? Unfortunately, the Thwomps aren't really invincible. Yeah, if you know how it looks like, you know, yeah, ZPL and Bear. I knew it. If you've seen it in Mario Kart 8 Wii U forward slash deluxe, then you should know this one. I do know that there's a rather interesting car only shortcut where you shoot off of that and land somewhere over here. You know what? Since this one's also a bit shorter, I'll do one more lap on it. Yeah, I know they're rainbow thwomps, but unfortunately they... I think you they just be... Normal thwomps textured, unfortunately, since this game does not introduce that. Yeah, and the bullet bike. I know there's one on... I think there's one on, a uh, Dark Matter Fortress as well that's kind of similar. Right then, so that that's the uh, run through of the tracks. And I honestly did not mean to close out a Chad Soft. Right, so Purple, get ready to open up the room. Funnily enough, there isn't that many rooms going, but there is a countdown room, which I don't really feel like going into that.